all right it's time got it like i said everything bolted in i got the radiator filled up so we're gonna go ahead we'll do the first crank i'm pretty sure it'll fail um then i'll turn up the regulator a little bit crank it again and just kind of repeat until uh you know we get a pretty stable idle um maybe it'll idle perfectly maybe it'll be a little rough i'm not sure you know with the whole fuel system and everything like that and then the tune being you know set up a little differently i'm assuming it's either going to do one or two things it's going to run a little richer or it's going to run a little lean until uh you know obviously the tune is corrected um so just wanted to welcome you guys back and uh you know i don't want to hold up too long let's get to it yeah Alright guys, that's it. Everything's topped off, fluids are good, all the leaks are fixed. Just got to uh, pretty much put the hood back on, the front bumper back on, grill, stuff like that. And uh, it's time, man. Let's fucking go. All right, all right, now we're like we're good. Gonna head over to get tuned. Um, so usually I travel wherever I gotta go, you know, um, you know, for the most part, um, I wanted to keep it local uh, this time. And, you know, after talking to a few people, uh, I'm right, pretty much right here in Orlando. Um, and I was referred by a buddy of mine, Roddy, if he watches, appreciate you. Uh, Omar over at uh, O&J Performance, uh, he was another one and he actually kind of connected me with um, Carlos over at Carlos Tuning. Um, so pretty much I reached out to him and we were able to set up a date and so we set it up, 
and had it over there. Mr. J, we're here today. Today's the day to get it tuned. I'm at CT Tuning uh, over here at Carlos's place. Him and his uh, his buddies over here taking care of my car, getting it ready and set up to uh, get on the rollers, get this pump gas going, and then we're gonna get on some uh, some E85. Stay tuned, man. Here it goes. All right, so I didn't really record this part because I wanted to get it fixed while I was there, but once we got around that 452 horsepower on the pump gas, uh, we were noticing something finicky with the fueling and stuff like that. We went to go turn the pressure up, and somehow or another, we were, as we were turning it up, we were losing pressure. Um, we checked uh, no, line, no leaks at the lines, anything like that, nothing. The injectors are all good, stuff like that. Um, so I, I left the back seat out just in case and it paid off because I ended up having to pull the pump out and sure enough, the hose that goes from the pump to the, uh, the output fitting, unfortunately it was leaking and that was actually my error. Um, so pulled it out, got the clamp back on there uh, properly and got it all fastened and stuff like that, put it back in the trap. Um, Carlos's guy, uh, one of his guys, John at the shop, um, he's his uh, wire guy. He was able to reconnect the power and ground to the pump for me real quick. Um, and then we got back to it.
All right, so after that poll, um, he was pretty much we're moving up progressively with the boost controller and stuff like that. And for some reason, we noticed it was tapering around like 10, 11 pounds. And then we were like losing boost pressure and stuff like that. Um, so we, what we ended up doing, we did like a little boost, uh, a boost leak test real quick. And we noticed that my wastegate um, was just leaking on the lower half. Um, so what we did is temporarily, we obviously, you know, unplugged that side and um, we were able to get up. We were able to build up more boost pressure. Um, so that was just kind of like a temporary remedy until I could replace the wastegate. But uh, we'll get back to it. <laughs> Right, guys I'm fucking pumped so the final uh, that final pass that we just made uh, unfortunately I don't know if we didn't reset the uh, the screen right or if we went back to the right window but we actually didn't get the uh, I didn't get a chance to take the picture of the last horsepower and torque reading um, but it was 620 uh, wheel power and then um, 520 torque at 15 pounds uh, I'm happy with that extremely happy um, Thanks again to Carlos and his team over there at Carlos Tuning. Um, yeah, we took the car out just to see what it did on the street, how it felt, made sure everything was all right. And unfortunately, fourth gear, um, I don't know if it broke or failed or what it is, but I guess that's what I get to do next. Pull it apart, diagnose it, and get it back in. Um, then I also have to fix my... Um, change my wastegate out, upgrade that. It's about time for that. It's an older wastegate anyway. Um, then I got to upgrade, I don't have to do it right now, but one of the things that I want to do is upgrade my exhaust side on the turbo just so that way I can get some better outflow going to, uh, because the car is kind of demanding for it. I would like to upgrade uh, to a better boost controller, uh, one that can do boost by gear. Uh, I was checking out the eBoost 2 controller. Um, maybe I could go that route um, just so I can kind to, you know, minimize destroy, <laughs> destroying the gears or anything in the transmission in the future. So. Um, appreciate you guys for watching again you know hit the like hit the share if you have any questions something in this video that you had a question about I may have mis explained something somewhere so by all means make sure you reach out and uh, I'll, I'll correct myself if I have to uh, thanks again guys and stay tuned